And it's it's interesting that you write when you're in a like good and positive mood because although I love your music, it doesn't always come across as happy music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. <laughs> Talking about the emotion in your music, it's like, as I mentioned, definitely something that comes across very clearly for me when I listen to your tunes. Um, how do you, like, it's a hard question, but when there's no vocals and because that's like a clear way to express meaning and emotion, how do you kind of convey emotion when you're writing music, when there's like no vocals or anything? Like, how, how does that process mm -hmm. work? Just sort of melodic layers and... You know, it's kind of what I'm feeling as well. I, th I think there are certain sounds that just prick my ears a little bit, and I kind of use that. And fixation is probably a good example, whereas I feel I can just sit there and listen to that track and just think about a host of things. Mm. And I think it's the same with like I do some more examples like LSB about tonight. And then mm. if you just sit there, it kind of puts you in a little bit of a trance and you just, yeah. Is a lot of emotion in that track again and you think of good or bad things or whatever it may be and it's just trying to find that that sound that relates to that mm. so when, I, I'll, when i'm putting something together like that like you say if it doesn't have a vocal and then I'll, I'll i kind of go through sounds or make sounds until something pricks the ear and i think you know okay mm. I, I, something there's, there's, there's an idea that I, I can kind of roll with that mm. uh that's kind of my pro process if you like yeah so is that kind of your your test like once <clears throat> your sketch is finished or whatever like to be able to listen to it and like does it evoke something in you or not and that's kind of your yeah your test I, to... I, I've put together a lot of ideas and you can probably see from the releases I've had from 2015 I wouldn't say I've had an extremely amount a lot of tunes in comparison to others which is not a bad thing it's not a bad thing if you are making a lot of music but I don't know, I'm very particular mm. um <laughs> although I do have some friends who I'll write a track and I'll uh, I'll get shouted at to finish it off or do something and I have <laughs> had that quite recently <laughs> with, with a few tracks so I have gone back to them but I seem to be very particular um and I do I do scrap a lot of stuff yeah, yeah shouldn't and again something i get told off uh, <laughs> or by but um yeah yeah i have a habit sometimes as well where i'll i'll start a track and i won't start another track until the existing one is finished mm. something i've broken out to is a, a, a lately but it's something that um yeah. I used to do a, a lot of the time I, I don't know why for me i see and, and with the releases that i've got coming once um these tracks are found at home and all right, all right, for me, I did, in my head, I could start a clean slate and, um, mm. and go again. So that's kind of my thinking process on it. Yeah. Works for some, doesn't work for others, but um, yeah, that, that's it really. Do, do you think that's a good, a good habit to have? Like, I don't have any preconceptions about it, but do you think that's a good habit to have to like finish a track entirely before moving to something else? I don't know. I wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't say it's the most healthiest. No. Um, I'm, I've just actually went through um, some of my um, tracks that are unfinished last week, and again, I don't know if you do it as well, but you go through and you think, oh, I didn't even know I had that track, or I didn't even know mm. I did that idea, you know. And it's something that you can get a hold of and do something with. But I, I go back and I. I find music there that I did, didn't think I wrote. So yeah, yeah, it's it, it's almost it's very two different mindsets to like starting tracks and starting IDs versus actually finishing tracks and doing your mix downs and stuff. It's yeah. almost two different disciplines. And sometimes you'll be in the mindset of doing sketches, and you'll do ten sketches in a week, but it's just like a eight bar loop or whatever. <clears throat> And then sometimes you have to put yourself in the other mindset, which I absolutely hate, which is to actually finish out the track and mi mix it down properly and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> and, and that's it. Instead of going back to finishing tracks, I probably what I should have elaborated a little bit more. I mean by that is I'll do everything up, up to the mix down stage. So mm. I, I've got I've got um, some releases coming up sort of to the latter part of the, the year. And again, that I need to do 
mixed downs, pre-masters. So that's kind of the, the line mm. I draw. But um, I, I do I do change change my habits from time to time. Yeah. And it's funny because I can write music for a few months and then I'll have zero motivation or inspiration for another two, three months. And then I'll open the laptop up and I'll, I'll go again. Mm. I think it's just how my moods are feeling at the time. I think if I'm feeling happy and, um, you know, good with stuff, then I'll, I'll kind of get stuck in. But if I'm, if I'm feeling low or I've not really had the best of weeks, that'll be the last thing that'll be on my mind. Mm. I've, I've learned never to force it. Yeah. And it seems to me a lot more producers are coming out and saying the same thing. Yeah. And cause I think in those scenarios, you think to yourself, is it just me? Mm. Like, is it just me that you know my my, my the issue and it's not so many other people that say exactly the same things yeah that's something i've learned to adapt as well and never force anything yeah it's it's interesting that you write when you're in a like good and positive mood because although i love your music it doesn't always come across as happy music <laughs> <laughs> yeah no 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 I, I, I totally agree i totally agree um again i don't know how yeah it comes out like that but uh but yeah no i don't know what you say it, it is funny as well because um whether i do guest mix or i play out which i haven't done for some time but um for various reasons i'll i'll tend to play quite a harder set mm. I, I play I, you know I, I play liquid music and uh, and i try to put a bit of everything in there but it's quite funny about it comment to me a few times it's like you play quite hard sets, but you you, you make liquid music. So yeah. to those two together. So um, I make a point of it, especially in guest mix. And uh, perfect example, I've just done a guest guest mix for our good friend Alpha Rhythm. Yeah. And again, I, I've just put a bit of everything in there. Um, just put a bit, you know, stuff that I'm feeling, and um, you know, all sorts of styles and flavors. I, I don't want to just stick to, to one. So I'm trying mm. to mix it up best I can. Just, just really give a, a true representation of myself, really. Yeah. Do, do what I'm happy with and play what I want to play. Yeah. Rather than being restrained, if you, if you know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.